The purpose of today's press conference is to update the public and the community on the investigation and to provide new information about an additional reward offered through the ATF. We will begin with Graham Barlow of the ATF. My name is Graham Barlow. I'm the uh, Acting Assistant Special Agent in Charge for the San Francisco Field Division. I'm here today to announce a $5,000 reward in information that will lead us to learn the identity of the person that transferred the AK-47 to the persons that were responsible for this horrific crime. The AK-47 that was used is pictured uh, in the uh, poster to my uh, to my left. Um, is a firearm that was we believe was manufactured by an unlicensed manufacturer, meaning there are no records associated with it. There's no serial number on it, and as a result, we have no ability to track that firearm using our normal processes. As a result, we're left with offering a reward of $5,000 for information leading to the arrest, indictment, and conviction of the person that was responsible for this transfer, and we'd like the community's help in, that, in providing that information. My first announcement on new developments on this case regards an arrest. Last Thursday, investigators arrested a 16-year-old juvenile male and booked him into Juvenile Hall. He was booked for accessory after the fact and gang charges for dropping off the getaway car, the Buick, on West Creek Drive in North Stockton on July 18, 2014. He is currently still in custody. We have determined he is a gang associate of the same Norteño gang that the other three involved in this incident were also part of. The second announcement concerns a person of interest we are seeking. Since the juvenile's arrest, investigators are now looking for pa Pablo Rubalcaba. Pablo Rubalcaba is a 21-year-old man wanted for questioning as a person of interest as possibly being the driver who dropped off the three gunmen at the Bank of the West on July 16th. Rubalcaba has the same gang association as the others. I want to make clear that Pablo Rubalcaba is not arrestable. He is wanted for questioning as to his and others' involvement. ATF, as you have heard, has posted an additional reward regarding how the assailants came into possession of the assault rifles. Remember, there is still a $50,000 reward in this case for information leading to an arrest in this incident. We encourage those who may know something to contact Stockton Crime Stoppers at 209-946-0600 or a tip can be submitted anonymously through the Stockton Police Department's Facebook page.